Hey everybody, Parker J is here from Right Stuff, and I am so excited because today Alan Stedham, you know, the guy I was talking to about a couple of weeks ago about Jordan's Arrow, which is part of the Jordan's World series, is about to release the new cover of the new book in the series, the last one called Jordan's Deliverance. And I am so excited to see this cover because I love the story so much that to see the cover is gonna be out of this world. So <laughs> Alan, thank you for letting me host this little cover reveal chat with you. Cause I'm really excited to show your readers and those who are interested in what Rice Sub does with Christian authors mm -hmm. around the world. We let people know what's going on. Again, I wanna thank Ambassador International for being the conduit between you and I because we mm -hmm. had a great Working and readership relationship. I am a fangirl. I'm a fangirl, Alan. Say fangirl, fangirl, you know. So mm -hmm. I'm excited, Alan. So before we do reveal the cover, I want people to know about, you know, what what the cover, why does such such an important idea about this cover, mm -hmm. in particular Jordan's deliverance? Well, the thing of it is, is that this has been, even though each book has been a standalone story, but it's been part of a saga that's been mm -hmm. going on. So this is the last book in the series and without giving a bunch of spoilers and stuff, it, it leaves off with a cliffhanger at the end of the second book, Jordan's Arrow. And this, this uh, cover basically picks up from where that leaves off and kind of like just gives you a, a clue what's going on and the fact that Jordan needs to be delivered from a particular threat and that is reflected in this cover. And for those of you, if you've read Jordan's World and Jordan's Arrow, you are nail biting to see how this saga is going to end. And Alan already know, after the show, the last time we were on, what, what an hour and a half talking? Yeah. And I was like, oh my gosh, his wife is going to kill me because <laughs> I have monopolized her husband. But we were like gelling really good. So I'm yeah. really excited to know about Jordan's Deliverance, you know, one thing I like about your covers is that they are unique mm -hmm. because you can't really find stock photos that's going to capture what you're trying to do. And if you were to get it painted by artists who will probably do a fantastic job, mm -hmm. it's a lot of money, you know, so I can appreciate how, I know Ambassador probably had, yeah. had, um, headed that, yeah. but they found a unique way to capture the elements of your story. Mm -hmm. And they did it in such a way that it's kind of whimsical yeah. because it did, there's that whimsical feel to the covers, but there's mm -hmm. also this uniqueness and otherworldliness about the covers too. Now, again, we're gonna see in just a moment, but with Jordan's Deliverance, when you saw the cover, how did you feel? Did you go, oh, M? <laughs> well, yeah, it, it was a process because uh, uh, I've had the pleasure of working really closely uh, with the uh, with the creative head of Ambassador, that's Hannah Nichols, and then uh, the artist that did the, the uh, art for all three covers, um, Chris Jackson, is an amazing artist and, and just a really accessible person. And so uh, it was a collaboration effort to basically take, okay, here's the, the central idea in each book. Now let's capture it in the art. And as an artist myself, I know that is not easy to do. And so uh, they were very, uh, very collaborative with me. They listened to my ideas, gave feedback, gave their own input. And then uh, Chris took all that and put together the covers. And even after he started doing the art, he, he listened to my feedback and my wife's feedback. And, and so it was a truly collaborative effort. So, you know, hats off to them. I love it when a graphic designer can encapsulate your idea. Mm -hmm. And it lets you know that you don't have to always spend a ton of money on a good cover, mm -hmm. just have a really effective cover. Mm -hmm. And your cover definitely does that with the whimsical feel to it. And you know, uh, it has a nice little, it's almost, I don't wanna say 80s art, mm -hmm. but there's that feel there, you know, and not 80s art, because 80s art was kind of weird, but you know, it's it's that it has cool. been a classic sci-fi to each of them. You. You know, yeah, and I and like really that. Don't do too many covers like that anymore. So I really appreciated that aspect to them, to where the colors pop. It's got an artsy feel to it, but it's, but it also is hard hitting. You know, it yes. gets that main idea across, and that's what is so important to me personally, because 
you can have a wonderful cover, but if it doesn't convey what the book is about, then you've kind of failed, you know, and you're, because the book right. cover is the first thing people see, you know, whether they buy it based on that cover or whether they're turned away from it based on that cover, that's your responsibility as the author. So, you know, I'm really, really happy with the way that these covers have turned out. So it's 325 mm -hmm. right now, my time, 225 your time, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. it's time to reveal the cover. So mm -hmm. Alan, go ahead and share with us the cover. Okay, so the cover is now available uh, on my Facebook author page, and it's also available uh, on my personal Facebook and on the event page as well in all three places. Uh, later, I'll be putting it up on my website, alanstedham.com. So, um, Parker, you can uh, take a look at it and start. I'm about to look at it right now, and I'm going to feel like I'm doing a YouTube reaction video. <laughs> OMG! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! I love this! Oh my gosh! I love this! This is telling the story right as we speak. <laughs> oh my gosh. I, oh, oh my goodness. Who, who's the illustrator again? Okay, so the, the, of course, Jordan is the woman with the blue hair. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but the <laughs> person next to her is her daughter, Josta, who oh. she was pregnant with on the cover of Jordan's Arrow. Mm -hmm. And so... Man. That tells oh. me in and of itself. So this is the daughter of, of Jordan and Bhopal. And mm -hmm. uh, one of the things that I enjoyed about this uh, in collaborating with Chris is I really wanted to show that um, whereas uh, Arrow, her, her son, mm -hmm. uh, looks more like Jordan in some ways, but uh, Josta looks a little bit more like Bhopal. And so again, you can do kind of a comparison with the second cover and this to see that she's kind of got his cheekbones, she's kind of got that that strength, you know, that mm -hmm. he has, but uh, but that it's reflected. And then we've got kind of this thread of spaceships flying over, you know, and that is part of the big mystery of this whole saga of why was Jordan brought to this planet in the first place? Yeah, that's still, it's a, it's a little bit of an issue for me. Yeah. <laughs> you know? I remember when I called you the first time I read the book and how ticked off I was. Like, who gives these people the right to go to someone else's planet, right? take them from their home, and put them elsewhere, and to add insult to injury, leave them there. <laughs> They're not left there for a day. They're left there no. for the rest of their lives, it seems. Yeah. And I was so Curious, so I cannot wait to see how that resolves. Because mm -hmm. best to believe, Alan, it better be a good reason. I'm just saying, oh. it has to be a good reason. But don't it's, tell it's me you know I'm away. spoiler sensitive. Yeah. You know I'm spoiler sensitive. So for those out there, you can see the cover in either the events page, Alan's personal Facebook page, or you can see it on his website, which was on his website. I'm also going to have you after we finish our chat here, um, put it in the comment section too, so people mm -hmm. can look in the comment section of this video. And it's well, also on my Facebook author page. Oh, I'm sorry. Thank you. Facebook author page too. Well, Al, I had a great time just revealing the cover with you. If I know how to do it next time, I'll probably do it like a, a share screen, but I don't know right. how to do it. So we'll figure it out later, we'll but out. you can <laughs> definitely see it and you can see my reaction. I love the cover. Okay. That is classic. And I love how she looks ticked off. Mm -hmm. How she's looking at me ticked off, you know, yeah. her daughter's like, whoever she is, we're going to take her out. Ma. You know, yeah. so I love that. I love that. I like the, the, the space. I love the coloring. The coloring particularly is very interesting because it really depicts the world of Algaron, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. Jordan Algaron series. I said Jordan's world series. Jordan Algaron series. And mm -hmm. Algaron is a wintry place, uh, lots of ice, snow, things of that mm -hmm. nature. So I'm glad to see that too. All right, Alan, we are done. I know our listeners, I want to go, I mean, our viewers are going to want to go ahead and take a look at that cover. So make mm -hmm. sure you go ahead and look at the cover. You can follow Alan online at alanstedham.com. That's Alan Stedham, S T E A D H A M.com. Mm -hmm. And then follow him on his Facebook, Twitter, wherever. All right, gang, thank you for joining us for this cover reveal of Jordan's Deliverance with Alan Stedham. I'm Parker J, the Queen of Tuesday Nights of Right Stuff Radio. And you have a wonderful, absolutely glorious, Blessed day.